Hi guys, how are you doing? I've just finished a simulator session. One of the questions you people ask me a lot is, uh, what's the difference between the Boeing 747-400 and the Boeing 747-8? So the Dash 8 Superjet has uh, some things which um, have been modernized and upgraded, obviously from the original 747-400. So let me show you some. First thing first, you've got the map display on the ND. The next thing is the landing gear lever is much smaller and does not have a neutral position that you'd put it in as is the case with the 747-400. Next we also have an electronic checklist, you select it up here, so a checklist there, checklist comes up on the lower ICAS electronic checklist, whereas on the 747-400 we have a checklist that we have in here, a paper checklist that stays in the cockpit. So, for example, that's the first checklist, pre-flight checklist. And all the checklists come up, there's a normal menu, reset, and the num normal menu for all the emergency stuff. This is the cursor that we use to select the checklist. And for each item completed, if I press that by selecting, by pushing that, will turn that green once the action has been completed. So I'll show you now. So it says the oxygen, I've tested it, I press that, I've just pressed it and it's gone green. Flight instruments, we check the headings on there and the standby to make sure that there's no discrepancy. And once that's done, I push that. So that should turn green. It's like, let's have a look, there you go. Push and it turns green. And then it says, check this completed. The parking brake was already set, so it was green already. Fuel control switches were cut off already, so they were green. So the system senses that the switches are in the correct place and decides well that's already set okay so so that's two of the differences another difference we have with um, this aeroplane the dash 8 compared to the 400 erf is that we also have the new generation fms of course the color fms which we don't have we've got the monochrome which is very greenish on the 400 so this one here is the new style new generation and we've got the uh, a car set over here remember i showed you the pdc request previously that's the pdc request on the 747-a same thing select it fill in the data and send to atc to get your clearance other thing that's different on the uh, 747-8 here is on the rudder we've got a centralizing button here so that's the rudder trim so normally the rudder trim, if I do that, you can see the rudder trim moving. See that? So I'm trimming left rudder and bring it back that way. And it's trimming right rudder going the other way. So it's left and right rudder, nose left, nose right. So with this switch here, what we have on the dash eight is if I push it down, see that it centralizes the rudder. That action we don't have on the 747-400. You have to select the rudder trim back to zero, having selected it to any position other than zero, of course. We don't have the central push button to select rudder trim to zero. Uh, some other things that are different. The 747-400 doesn't have the uh, uh, weather radar that's upgraded. This is the automatic weather radar and there's still manual tilt operation on the other one. We can, we can use manual tilt on this as well, but um, the 747-400 doesn't have the automatic tilt function. So the pilots are basically generally, uh, we're always adjusting the tilt to see that we're scanning in the right direction and not getting too much ground return uh, whilst in flight. Nothing wrong with that. It actually keeps you awake, keeps you um, active when there's weather around. And quite often, on this auto function weather radar on the 747-8 we also do the same thing we go into manual just to check that in fact uh, the weather below us and so on is not being missed out by the auto function because the auto function works sometimes with some funny algorithms and you you lose out on something so the algorithms can uh, give you some readings that uh, might appear as if there's a lot of we heavy weather sometimes. So the manual function is quite good and we can select it 
on here and use that. So those are some of the differences on the Boeing 747-8, this one, and the 747-400 ERF. I'll go over to the 747-400 ERF now and see if I can uh, take a quick video of say the landing gear lever for example and show you the FMS how that's different later.